Mr. Donegan here, and here's a picture of a sea helmet for deep sea diving that has nothing to do with anything, but I just want to share with you a picture of me next to that sea helmet. That way you can see how awesome my shirt is. All right, let's get to work now, shall we? Five. Hey, thanks for joining us. I want to look at this document right here. It has a little bit of a story and a couple of questions, and I want to work on how to answer questions well. So let me read the story to you. Get comfortable. It's a good story. <clears throat> the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And now there are two questions after this story. And this assignment is to reflect so much of the work you're going to be doing in this class. So, hmm, what's the first question here? Let's see if I can highlight it. Oh, it's a little highlighted. Who jumped over the dog? Well, here's the dog. Let me go back. Oh, look, the quick brown fox. So, you know what? I'm going to highlight. I'm going to press Control C, and I'm just going to press a little Control V, and there we go. Now, yes, this is copying, and I'm trying to show you how to copy successful. So, I've totally just copied that from the text. But, in order for me not to get in trouble, in order for me to tell my teacher I copied, I put quotation marks behind and in front. So when it says, who jumped over the dog, I can say, quote, the quick brown fox, unquote, jumped over the lazy dog. All right, so there, I have just showed my teacher, look, these are not my words. I'm putting the words in quotation mark to let you know they're somebody else's words. And the words are from our text or from the story that we read. Okay, let's review one more time. I'm going to go on to the next question, so hold on tight. The fox is one character in the story. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who is the other character? Well, let's see. We've already talked about the quick brown fox jumps over the... Oh, look! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to go Command-C, and I'm going to go a little Command-V. But again, yes, I can copy, and that's great. The trick is I have to put quotation marks around what I copied to let the teacher know that I'm copying. All right, so there is a quick little way for you to learn how to um, copy texts without getting in trouble. Thanks for watching.